Let's talk business. This is how we're moving yours forward. Standard Bank, moving forward. From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. South African state-owned aviation maintenance company Donnell Aviation is expanding its market area. Keith Campbell reports. Donnell Aviation is an aircraft maintenance, repair and overhaul, or MRO, company based at OR Tambo International Airport in Kempton Park, east of Johannesburg. It is now actively seeking and securing business from elsewhere in Africa. The Nell Aviation CEO, Mike Kobe, gives an overview of the company's activities. As you would know, Denel Aviation is uh, primarily set up to support the South African Air Force. Of the capability base that we have for that support, uh, we have been able to project ourselves into the African continent and we have had successes in terms of uh, getting export uh, business from the African continent. Uh, primarily based on the product uh, capabilities that we have of the, the C-130, the L-100, uh, which is the civilian sister ship of the C-130, the Puma, the Super Puma, the AS-350 Squirrel, the, the B-0105. We've also, uh, in the past year, seen uh, success in terms of uh, uh, getting the contract to support the South African Police Service. We've seen activity on the C-130 primarily uh, and on the, on the Puma helicopters. All I can say is that we have uh, SADC uh, member states uh, that uh, we have uh, done uh, work for in the past year uh, and some countries in East Africa. Unfortunately, uh, there's some confidentiality in terms of uh, the, the customer base, the customer names. Earlier this year, the company entered into a joint project with Russian helicopters to provide MRO services for Mil and Kamov helicopters in Africa. Kobe reports on how the project is going. As, as you would know, we launched the capability in, uh, in March uh, and on the back of that uh, we are at advanced stages with a number of countries um, to essentially get the aircraft to come out here. Um, we, you would appreciate that uh, aircraft maintenance is a cyclical uh, activity uh, and uh, we have identified aircraft that are going to be coming due that we would do maintenance on that. So we, we are very confident about the future, uh, primarily because of uh, the volumes that are there, uh, our interactions with the customer base in terms of a need for capability like this in this part of the world. Other news making headlines this week, SA China relations are a basis for economic survival and ESCOM reiterates that electricity supply will remain constrained during summer. South Africa's trade relations with China over the past 15 years have played a fundamental role in ensuring the nation overcame the economic crisis that had buckled many developed countries in the past few years. We felt the impact of the economic realities and the difficulties that we've experienced. But we were able to insulate ourselves much better because of the relationship with China. Because as the economic decline took place in Europe and that traditional trade became under serious difficulties, there was this emerging new markets and the bond between South Africa and China. And therefore I want to say to the Ambassador that indeed so, um, it had a fundamental, this relation had a fundamental support in the insulation in terms of the economic um, challenges that we've got. And I think we must give China an end for that. While the winter period went well, with state-owned power utility ESCOM avoiding having to implement load shedding, South Africa's electricity supply will remain constrained over the coming summer months, says ESCOM senior GM Andrew Etzinger. The system will remain under pressure. Our, our peak time will still be between 5 p.m. and 9 p.m., so we'll continue. You'll still see the adverts going out to the residential sector to please save power during those times. Uh, but again, a dual message will be going out to the commercial sector to say please also help us uh, during all hours of the day because uh, this, will make, this will make the difference. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.